Hello, welcome to Sam Golden Golf. This video is called How to Hit a Draw. And in this video, I'm just basically going to go over a couple different things that have to happen in order for anyone to hit a draw. Um, the physical characteristics of the swing, the physics of the club head ball combination or the club head ball relationship, and then um, maybe a little demonstration on how to actually get that done. So the first thing we have to understand or understand when we're hitting, uh, we're trying to hit the ball and we're trying to curve it one way or another. The only way to get a ball to curve in flight is to give it spin. So very much like a pitcher might uh, throw a curve ball, we're going to make the golf ball spin while it's flying through the air. That spin with the wind resistance is going to make the ball curve off to the side. So when we're hitting a draw for a right-handed player, the ball would be curving from right to left. So if that ball is curving from right to left, the kind of spin we must have on the golf ball would be the ball turning this direction. So the only way to get the ball to spin in that direction would be to have the club brush across the ball to the right. Now I can get the ball to curve from right to left or spin in this direction as long as my club face is one degree or even a half a degree or even one one millionth of a degree more closed than my swing path. And all that means is if my swing path, if my club is traveling, let's say for instance maybe my club is traveling five degrees to the right. So it's traveling out to the right five degrees. If my club face is four degrees to the right, or it's just one degree less to the right than my swing path, then I'll have enough of a difference there to create some right to left side spin. If my club face is, if my swing path is five degrees to the right, and my club face is five degrees to the right, or square to the path that my club's traveling on, then my ball's gonna go exactly dead straight, only it's gonna travel in the direction that the club was traveling, which is five degrees to the right, so whatever that equates to. So my shot, if my club is traveling from inside the target line by five degrees, or it's traveling out toward the ball five degrees, and the club face is exactly square to that path, or five degrees open, the ball is going to go straight right. If I want that ball to curve back, I've got to have the club face slightly close to that path. It doesn't mean the club face has to point left of the target or left of the target line. It just means that the club face has to be less open than the swing path. So essentially, again, I can have the club swing five degrees to the right, and if the club face is only open one degree, or maybe it's pointed just slightly to the right of that line there, then I'm going to have a draw. So basically how that works, for anybody that's trying to learn to hit a draw or how to make the ball curve from right to left if you're a right-handed player, the one thing that we have to have happen is we have to have the club travel from the inside of the golf ball or from the inside of the target line. And the only way to do that is I have to get the club back to the inside of the target line at some point in the swing. I might take it way out up over here and then loop it underneath to come inside. But a very simple way that I've found to get the club inside the golf ball or turning to the inside of the target line is to just set up and then kind of lock the hands in place and just turn the shoulders back away from the target. So you can see that my club is very much inside the golf ball at this point. So just setting up and turning the shoulders back not doing anything extra with my hands, just turning the shoulders back. Then when I come through, if I allow the club to come through on that same path that it went back on, it's going to obviously be traveling out to the right. Now that takes care of my path issue. But I want this thing to curve back. I don't want it to just go straight right. And the only way to get it to curve back again is to have my club face slightly closed to the path that the club's traveling. So one thing I might do is I might set up with a strong grip, or I might preset my hands a little bit strong so that when I get to impact, the club might have a tendency to be a little bit closed. So if I preset my hands with a strong grip, turn my shoulders back, or just turn my shoulders away from the target, 
Now my club's back on the inside or inside of the ball, and my grip is strong, so my club face is really closed there. Now if I just come in on that same path that I came from, I'm probably going to hit a big sweeping hook. So we'll try one of those. So preset my hands in a really strong grip, and then just turn my shoulders. And that's a pretty big sweeping hook. So hopefully those two things help. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, email samgoldengolf at yahoo.com or uh, there are definitely other videos on my website, samgoldengolf.com.